Hey guys, now we can play. We've made it to the playbook. It's one of my favorite places on earth right here. Yes. And, un momento. What I mean by, uh, what, I mean, what I mean by we've made it to the playbook is, we've already talked about the rule book. You know, we're energy creatures, an interconnected awesome light grid that we shape together. Now, I'm going to put up a few um, plots, and the first is just like a whole set of what you could call stages of development. These are various researchers from Harvard and many other places who study human consciousness, and they come up with these maps. And this is a, I mean, along the x-axis, what you're seeing is a bunch of maps. And then on the y-axis, you're seeing a um, kind of like an integration of these maps. Oh my, there's a huge bird flying by. I think it is a vulture. We're dying! <laughs> and so this y-axis is basically trying to make like a common ground, a nomenclature for all the various maps you see on the x-axis. And... It's all well and groovy. You know, they used light as a metaphor. You can see the white axis, or the, um, the Y axis is a bunch of colors. But you could have called it tomato, orange, pineapple, pear. They chose to use colors. They just like the um, analogy of um, light and increasing frequency and such. And it's a nice group um, out of Boulder who did that, the Integral Institute. They study all forms of science and the wisdom traditions, etc. They're a great resource. Um, now, I want to pull up this next graph. A researcher, um, Frederick Leloup, um, did this actually um, as part of a business case he was making for business organizations to adopt models from um, the emergent tiers of consciousness. He focused on teal. And uh, I could, man, I could talk for years about that. That's another subject, though. Now, what this is showing us is that, and this is, you know, approximate, but they're trying. They're trying to show when stages of development emerged in a significant portion of the populace. Let me say that again. It's basically like when did a, a leading tip of the consciousness begin, or of the populace begin to adopt a mode of consciousness. And you can see it's been heating up, meaning like as we've been learning and evolving over time, we're learning even more and more rapidly. It's almost like that technology Moore's law, you know? It's like as the base gets stronger, it evolves faster. Now maybe this will be a sinusoidal curve, you know, whatever. But actually, the reports are um, this sort of this sort of uh, rate of acceleration is going to continue far beyond our temporal reality here. <laughs> but that's a discussion for another day. We're just staying grounded and scientific grade right here to show that consciousness is evolving. There are stages of development, and evolution is heating up. Now, I mean. I know the news is negative, but you can even look at stats to show that we have less war and poverty. Like, things are getting better, although the oceans need to get cleaned up. So, welcome back. Let's enjoy the trees. The point I want to make is that not only does our perspective or consciousness evolve, our understanding, our our mind but it's a body project or an energy project meaning like as you do these stages of development you notice that your whole sense of being changes now I'll talk about why I bring this up but in our playbook here we're talking about playing out of a new understanding and upgraded understanding that takes us you know up the ladder here we're gonna notice that it's not just our a brain but it's our whole sense of being, and we have subtle energies, and we merge with our environment. It's a whole light grid, and you begin to like really experience yourself on a pretty big level with subtle energies running through you. And that's what we're going to talk about here, is how to be an energy creature. Because we know the information, the energy, the matter, the consciousness, they're all like kind of kit and caboodle. They're part of a holistic gestalt. So we're not just talking ideas. We're not just talking body. We're not just talking emotions. These things kind of like interweave and um, very much dance together. You know what I mean? So I'm just saying 
as we talk energy here, as we talk about our energy playbook, as we talk about increasing our frequency or vibration or mode of being or sense of self to be more expansive and inclusive, we'll fill with light and joy and pleasure and we'll be able to go into deep understanding and it will be full kick caboodle. Our emotions, our perspective, our beliefs, our body, it'll be all of it together. Okay. Um... That should make sense, right? So that's gonna be like the heart of our playbook. Our playbook is like, we're working to increase our sense of self, our understanding, our perspective, and in this we'll be more deeply embodying, being more aware of who we are, increasing our subtle sense, we'll be processing more information, we'll be more aware of our selfhood, we'll be more aware of what's going on with others, and we will have greater responsibility and power. We'll be able to more effectively shape the light grid that we're in. We'll have a bigger effect. Yeah, I mean, you will eventually have jobs of like holding the field for your neighborhood, for your territory. Um, that's what a lot of us are here for. The archangels are here. The A team is present. <laughs> this is the launch of the golden age. A lot of us are still just waking up, but there are some strong cats here. And if you're listening to this, you are one of them. So prepare for your wings to unfurl. And that is what we will begin here. Now, I've talked about this a little already, but the next video is gonna to touch on how to get sensitive to your energies, because that'll help us. Then we're gonna talk about healing our energies, um, increasing our energies, all these things. Eventually we'll get into some advanced form of intuition and some advanced energy work in situations. And we'll talk about medicines to help us um, in our healing project, body modalities to help us in our healing project, all this stuff. But next up is just a little bit on getting sensitive to our energies and increasing like our mindfulness and bodyfulness and these things. Over now, much love. Yalo 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 tai. Om yaya yaya yaya.